vibration is so annoying. <laughs> Hello Virgo, I'm here to give you insight for the month of September. So let's see what is going on with you guys. Just my microphone here. Okay, so the card we're starting out with, let's see. Ooh, change, 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 change. Okay, so you are encouraged to move towards change in the month of September or you will be experiencing some change. I was hearing the, um, for some of you the calm after the storm. So after after the storm, you're now um, moving towards change, uh, initiating change in your life. Okay, um, I also see this as um, being within a storm. So with that storm um, comes change. Okay, so it's important for you to stay brave during this uh time and to also tap into your strength this woman here is holding a knife here so i feel like the knife represents clarity and also um, represents uh diplomacy um like being diplomatic uh, it can also represent represent um you know clarity truth okay um, focus as well during this time of change. Okay. Some of you may be, may need to focus on change. Okay. I'm also hearing that some of you are needing to accept this change as well. Some of you could be uh, witnessing someone go through some changes. Okay. What else is going on in the month of September? With Virgo, what else is going on with Virgo in the month of September? Virgo, Virgo, what else is going on with Virgo in the month of September? Okay, we have the Knight of Chalice. So uh, I do see some of you are moving towards. Um, love in your life you're opening yourself up to receive love i also see this knight of chalice that's a cancer pisces scorpio person you could have this in your chart as well but this is you being willing to offer your love um support as well okay i also do see that there is someone who is uh, moving towards you who wants to offer you love this could be a sagittarius okay uh, it could be an emotional sagittarius <laughs> for some of you um, but this person wants to offer you love um, they want to be genuine to you they want to I was hearing forgiveness okay this person could um, buy you things or offer you things um, as a sign of you know saying I'm sorry or um, if they want you to forgive them they just they, they're they could offer you something like they can buy you a gift or they can do something give you something okay to say that they're sorry um okay uh what else am i seeing here yeah i do see that some of you are just moving towards um your desires what you're wanting in life there's forward movement here nine of wands so some of you could be feeling kind of wore out a little bit on the defense this person wanting to offer you something virgo you could be on the defense about it trying to figure out okay well what's the catch is there strings attached like what's the deal um i also see this as the other way around this could be a fire sign person you're dealing with uh, leo sagittarius aries that could be have their guard up a little bit they're kind of protecting what's theirs they're not really open to receiving what you have to offer at this time and it could be because they have other stuff going on it just really seems like their focus is on something else and they could be dealing with some struggles dealing with some challenges here okay so whatever this is for some of you i'm hearing that it's important that you don't take this personally okay because you need to let this person work out their kinks or whatever's going on <laughs> i don't know i mean kinks like in a, a freaky way um i meant like just whatever uh disharmony is going on in their life okay um there are some things that they're needing to iron out before they can be available before they could um be in the energy of receiving okay all right I also see that some of you Virgos in the month of September could be a little bit defensive when it comes to what your wants and needs are. Um, you could have your guard up a, a bit 
or you could be a little bit defensive or guarded when it comes to dealing with other people. And it could be because of things that you've experienced in your past. So um, that's why you could have your guard up. I was also hearing that some of you are being a little bit selfish in the month of September. And you have a reason to just because maybe you've overextended yourself or you're just constantly giving, giving, giving and um, not getting anything back back in return. OK, that's for some of you, not all of you. Um, it could be a call for you to loosen up a bit and be in an energy of giving. OK, maybe you've always been on the receiving end. So maybe a call for you in the month of September to be in a position of giving of yourself, giving your services support. OK, what else is going on in September with Virgo, 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 September, September, September. What's going on with Virgo in September? And of course, this uh, could be for your Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, you could be a have a Virgo Stellium as well. What else is going on? Oh, okay, Knight of Pentacles. So Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy, but it's the energy of movement. Okay, so I do see that you guys are going to be moving um, forward after a very difficult time, after a very challenging time. Okay, you're starting to move forward. Uh, slowly but sure, surely, you're also seeing the progress as well. You're making um, some progress, little progress here. It's also important for you to pace yourself, okay? Continue to move forward, but um, continue to make practical decisions as you move forward, okay? Some of you are needing to uh, make better financial decisions as well. Some of you could have been on the defense because of certain financial decisions that were made. OK, maybe you've made in the past or somebody that you're dealing with had made some financial decisions that didn't make you happy or that caused some type of friction here. Um, there could have been issues with finances. And so um, I do see that resolving. Um, I do see like slow progress, though, uh, for some of you. Um, OK. Others of you, I do see like um, fast moving energy as well. So it could just be a sign for you to just pace yourself. You know, pacing yourself is not losing momentum, of course. You're still moving forward, but it's a call for you to really um, just pace yourself. But I do see forward movement after a difficult time. Okay. I also see this Knight of Pentacles as somebody. Um, who is slow moving, which could cause some frustration for you. Um, this could be an earth sign person, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo person that you're dealing with. Could be another Sagittarius as well. Seeing horses here reminds me of Sagittarius. But um, this is somebody that's kind of taking their time. They're weighing things out. They're not so quick to, they're, they're the commitment type, but they're not so quick to jump the gun. They're not so quick to commit fully, okay? That's for some of you, not all of you. You could be this uh, Knight of P Pentacles person, you know, not being so quick to commit fully to something. You kind of want to weigh out your options, you know, just see how things kind of play out a little bit before you make your next step and your next step and your next step. That's what I see here for some of you. Wow, the Lady and the Lord. Okay. All right. So, uh, Virgo, I do see that there is somebody here that you are dealing with. OK, this could be your divine counterpart. It definitely looks like that. OK, um, this could be a major focus for you in the month of September. Some of you could be getting a proposal, some type of uh, marriage proposal, or this could be a proposal to take things to the next level. OK, so I do see that for you, Virgo. OK, uh, this is somebody being really receptive to what you have to offer or the other way around. Maybe you are being more receptive to what someone has to offer. So I do see that here as well. I also see this as coming together with other people. Um, you know, it can definitely talk about romance, but it also can talk about friendships as well. OK, you know, connecting with like minded people, attracting your divine counterpart. I also see a soulmate here, Virgo. OK, I see that you have met your soulmate. This soulmate can be a Gemini. It could also be an Aries. OK, or some people with this energy here. This is like a soulmate energy here. Okay, I do see you encountering that. 
Oh, capturing this person. Yeah, three of chalice. Wow. So definitely a time for celebration, happiness. Uh, it is going to be your, it is your birthday in the month of September for some of you Virgo. So happy birthday. I do see you guys celebrating and having fun, spending time with your girlfriends, guy friends, whatever. I also see, you know, coming together. If you are married, I do see some of you could be married. Um, just, you know, your your partner showing you a good time. You could be going camping or hunting for your birthday, being in the outdoors. I do see that for others of you it may not be the case. You could just be going out to dinner or just receiving some gifts, just happiness, celebration, you know, just some type of recognition here uh, in the month of September. Um, and if it's not your birthday in the month of September, I do see, um, well, if you just had your birthday in the month of September, you could be <laughs> celebrating an, another Virgo's um, birthday or spending time with your siblings. I also see this as just having fun. You know, some of you could have been working really hard and, and now you are making time for fun. Uh, if that's not the case, you are encouraged to do so, to, to celebrate life, to recognize the joy and happiness that you have, you know, in your life, celebrating with people, connecting with people. Uh, I do see sisters here. So you could have some sisters or family members that you're spending time with as well. Okay. The star card. So Aquarius energy. So this is, this feels really good. Um, Virgo, I feel like in the month of September, you're going to feel really good about yourself. Some of you are going to be getting some recognition. You're going to be in the spot spotlight. Some of you Virgos are already in the spotlight. You could be a celebrity. Okay. You know, um, <clears throat> on a grand scale, you know, where you're seen on TV or you're, you're maybe a social media celebrity, things like that. So you can be getting some recognition. I do see the star card as recovery healing after a very difficult time as well. So I do see an opportunity for that. There also could be an Aquarius that plays a major role in your life. You could have Aquarius in your chart. Some of you are also encouraged to put your gifts and your talents on display. Okay, some of you could have a, a, a talent when it comes to astrology or um, this is an, an, an otherworldly person, a celestial person. This could be you very much. So you and someone could be recognizing this about you notice noticing how, you know, magical you are, how, how celestial otherworldly you are so they could be admiring that okay that may be a call for you to bring awareness to these gifts okay <clears throat> um bringing awareness to these gifts can make you more confident make you feel really good about yourself you know things like that four of chalice i see here so four of chalice so <laughs> it's like when it's all said and done when the party is over right so some of you could be feeling a little bit bored or unfulfilled in the month of September. Um, I was hearing, um, I was hearing the song in the midnight hours. I want more, more, more. So it was something that was short lived. So maybe you could have had a great time with someone or, you know, something great happened some time ago. And now it's kind of like, okay, you want more, you want, you want to feel it's like, it's just an energy of wanting to feel more. Okay. Um, I was hearing that somebody could be breadcrumbing you Virgo, someone. Okay. This is not for all of you. Uh, for others of you, you could be taking some time out to really, um, analyze your emotions um taking time to what is the word um i don't want to say digest but it's like um i can't remember the word but it's basically it's like in a, you're in a state of reflection it's like you're you're like evaluating your emotions in some type of way okay i, I do see that um, I feel like some of you are trying to figure out, well, is, is this person the one for me? You know, we had such a great time, you know, but is this the person for me? Like, is this really my person? So it could, I, I see that some of you could be asking yourself that, you know, um, 
and some of you could be desiring more out of your situation. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It definitely could, but it could be like your work. Maybe you're wanting more. Maybe what you're doing is no longer fulfilling and you're wanting more, okay? You're wanting something uh, just more meaningful, okay? You're wanting to feel, you want to feel good about what you're doing, okay? Uh, for some of you, it could have felt like that. You felt like you attracted what you wanted, you know, but it's just for some of you, you're kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to continue to do this anymore, whether it be a relationship or whether that be like a job, you know, or a situation, you know, maybe you're not wanting to be a part of a situation anymore, but you're kind of analyzing your emotions, you know what I mean? So, okay. And then we have the King of Wands, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. No, it's not. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, excuse me. This very well could be an er, er, a fire sign person with earth energy. It very well could be. But this King of Wands is an um, important person in your life. This can be um, you. You could uh, be a Virgo, Leo, cusp. Or this could be the person that you're with. Okay. Um <laughs> some of you could have somebody that is is at home okay that's just rocking back and forth in the in the chair and you're just kind of like why don't you get your ass up and do something okay like what are you doing i don't know this could be you know your partner this can be a relative this could be a um a father figure it really could be anyone but there is a desire for this person to get up off of their ass and do something Okay, um, this could be the person you're dealing with. Maybe they want you to start getting up and do something, you know, be more action oriented. Okay, that's for some of you, not all of you. Um, I, I do see the King of Wands um, energy here as somebody who's very comfortable where they're at. Okay, they've worked really hard for what they have and they are focused on um, like retiring. Okay, so some of you Virgos could be ready for retirement or you could be focused on building a strong foundation, um, a, a fruitful life so you can retire, so you can um, sit back and relax. Okay, some of you are wanting that. Uh, or, or could be thinking about this. This is like a desire for some of you. Um, like I said, this King of Wands person is a, a very significant person in your life. Okay. They may not always be action oriented. They, they get up when they want to. Okay. They, they kind of do things on their own time. And I'm picking up, this is like Sagittarian type of energy here. Okay. Like they do things when they get ready to. And that could be some of you Virgos. Maybe you've been a little bit complacent and maybe there's, it's a call for you to do something about your situation instead of just being down in the dumps. You know, you could be looking for some change in your life. You could be wanting more. You could be wanting to be more, feel more fulfilled. Okay. But it's up to you to make that happen for yourself. Okay. With this King of Wands. And then, oops. And then we have the horned god. Wow, the horned god. So for some of you, I feel like some of you Virgos want someone who is action oriented, someone who is a leader, someone who will get the job done. It's like you're looking for your divine counterpart, I'm feeling. Okay, I feel like somebody that you're with is not really cutting it for you, but you're kind of settling your you're there because this is your husband or this is your person, you know, and I feel like you're hanging in there with them. But there is a desire to have somebody that's strong and just somebody that's a leader that makes you feel protected and just, you know what I mean? Like you, you're desiring that for others of you. OK, I see this horned God as an aspect of yourself. You know, this is you taking control. This is you focusing on the solutions instead of the obstacles. This is just you being action oriented. This is this is a leadership role. OK, I do see that some of you Virgos could be stepping into a leadership role. You could have um, stepped out of an energy of being complacent. And now you're showing up like this is you, like you're showing up in the flesh here. You are the horned God. You are here to create change. You're here to take back control over your life. And I do see you have some followers here. Okay. I feel like once you step into this leadership role, um, I feel like the people that are um, 
around you or in your life will follow suit here. Once you take take um, the initiative, once you step into this leadership role, I also do see that the person for some of you, you could be with someone who decides to step into this role. OK. Um, OK, you can desire for someone to step into this role, okay, to take responsibility, to take back control over their life, to do what they're supposed to do, okay? So on the bottom of the deck, we have the Holly King. So this is Hermit, okay? This is Virgo here. So I feel like a lot of you are going to be uh, taking time out to reflect on your situation, your life, uh, you know, um, where you're wanting to go. Um, you guys also are discovering a lot of things. I mean, you could have been in a moment of darkness, confusion, and you're, you're, you're seeing the light here, or you're encouraged to, to see the light. Okay. And that light could just be the wisdom, you know, uh, to see the bigger picture of a situation. Okay. All right. Some of you could be uh, spending time alone, Okay, uh, in a, you could have been in a period of isolation. Now you're showing up. Okay, now you're here. Okay, you spent some time alone and now you're showing up to the world. You're stepping out of your comfort zone as well. Okay, you did the necessary work. Okay, or you're encouraged to. So this is going to be the end of the reading, Virgo. Please like, share, and subscribe. And at this time, I'm not taking any um, readings at this time, personal readings. I'm not uh, doing it at this time. I'm limited in capacity. So uh, once that changes, I will definitely let you guys know. But either way, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. And God bless.